What's good, Grey Gang? So recently, I got a new toy in the mail. That new toy is that bow target. Now, as many of y'all know, I had been shooting here on this Hurricane, but recently, ever since I got my new bow, it's just not cutting it. So that's why I decided to switch over here to this Yellow Jacket target, and we're gonna give it a go. So why is my Hurricane not doing so good anymore? Well, I mean, recently, ever since I got my new bow, my new bow is like 40, 30 pounds more than my old bow. Like, the arrows just go straight through it. I originally had six arrows, and then after shooting on this for about two weeks, I've only got two left, because all of them went through it, and the veins have came off. Now, yes, some of that may be because my my arrows aren't the best, but still, my arrows shouldn't be going through my bow target. But now, I got this brand new, never been shot before, and we're gonna shoot it here today. And you know where we're gonna shoot it from? 40 yards, baby. We're going way back, and we're gonna sling an arrow, hopefully it right there, right in the middle of the yellow jacket. Let's start walking. And like I mentioned, my new bow, here it is. This is a Hoyt Pro Defy. I like to go with, you know, a camo, and then green right there. Got the green that, green that, green that, green peep sight, got the green D-loop. I got everything camo and green. And the weird thing is, is that this thing isn't even maxed out, and it was still going through the target. Like, it's only on like 62, 63 pounds, but it was still going through the target. But if you can't tell, it's right there. It's not the green one. The green one's the hurricane. I'm shooting at the yellow, yellow jacket. And we are at 40 yards right here. And I also mentioned I only had two working arrows left. Well, yeah, guys. And I'm even using my hunting arrow just to practice. And this one will be really cool because it's actually got a Luminoc on it. So you should be able to see it really good. And the bummer is, guess what? Got my bow green and everything. The Luminoc's red. So uh, it'll be all right. It'll work. It'll work. I'm happy with it. But here we go. You should see it in flop. Yeah, you see that? That was pretty cool right there, wasn't it? Let me go get those real quick, and we'll shoot them right there again. Now, the pack of Luminox I bought, which they're not exactly Luminox. I believe they're like Nocturnal brand or something like that. But the ones I bought came with two Luminox in the pack. Unfortunately, I broke the other Luminox, you know, like trying to put it in the arrow. So there goes that one. And now I'm down to only having one Luminox. However, that one Luminox is a good Luminox. It's really, just, just watch it again. It's pretty satisfying to just watch an arrow fly. Especially from 40 yards away. It's got quite a lot of ground to cover. There we go, a little bit high, but still at the target. Here we go, right here. I mean, my first arrow was fairly decent. I'm aiming right there, right in the middle of a target. But I mean, as a bow hunter, I gotta have my bag of excuses, and today, it's because there was a bug in my face. This time, guys, I'm still at 40 yards, but I'm gonna not even say a word. I'm just gonna take focus, and I'm gonna try my best to get both those arrows right there in the center circle. That's how much confidence I've got. I've only done that like five or six times in my life, but I just got the feeling that this time is one of those times. Okay. That right there was not in the center circle. Maybe this one will be, though. Should be. Maybe. Boom! That one was good, I can tell you that. Yeah, I mean, I'm still pretty rusty. I, yeah, I mean, I didn't even get close to it, guys. I didn't even get close to it. But, practice makes perfect. And by the way, guys, if you're not already subscribed to my channel, go ahead and do that, because not only are we shooting bows and doing outdoor stuff, but we also got a deer that we're hunting. His name's Bucky. He's actually got a pretty good story with him. We've been chasing him for almost two years now. And, uh, well, he's not showing any signs of giving up either. And if you're already subscribed, go ahead and hit the like button. Because I don't know if you know this or not, but every time you hit the like button, that helps me just a little bit. It makes it possible for me to come out here and make more videos for you guys. So go ahead and hit the like button real quick, because it really does help me out quite a bit. So now that I've got some good quality practice with my bow, I've actually got an idea of something that's going to be pretty awesome to do down at the pond. So, um, uh, let's head on down that way and we'll get right into it. It's pretty, it's pretty awesome, guys. It's pretty awesome. Okay, guys, so now we're back out here at the pond, and again, I'm going to try to use this cast net. And Adam's here, too, playing with my monoscope. What do you see? A house. Now, the last time I tried to use this thing, well, I didn't really get anywhere. Or even make it, you know, a good cast. But... We're going to try it again today. One thing that's different today is that I watched a YouTube video just a few minutes ago. And that basically makes me a professional. So here we go. In that video, he said, you know, do something like this right here. And then this right here. And then grab it like this right here. Have it like this. And then... <laughs> oh, shit, that's, uh, didn't do it right. But practice makes perfect. Lucky does not approve. She gone. So what did he say exactly? Grab it right here. Yeah. Third way down. And then grab Pull something like, like that. This and just sling it. Yeah. Oh, I, forget, I keep forgetting to let go of the rope. <laughs> you may have caught one fish. If I can catch a leaf today, I'm happy. Yeah. Look that bad. I don't think I got it on video, but I feel you caught bro, bro, I caught one. No, you There's didn't. There's no way. There's no way, bro. I just caught a fish. I just caught a fish. <laughs> didn't even know how to throw it. I don't even know how to throw it. That was the first one that actually hit the water. There's no way. Bro. I just caught a fish. Haters will say it's fake. Adam don't even think he got it on camera, but I don't know. Here you go. Flip it, Adam. Oh, 
Monster, baby, monster. Straight pig. We're going for your brothers and sisters now. It's all we do here at Kennel Gray Outdoors, boys. It's all we do. Triple backflip. Pigs daily, boys. Pigs daily. I told you I was a pro. I've got my fish. That's all I'm happy, boys. First thing first. Since I'm a professional now, I can give you instructions. And I just sling it and let go of everything. In the water? Yeah, throw it in the water. Did you get one? Nope, nothing. And then just let go of the whole thing at once. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. That was a good one. Except it just, you know, wasn't a circle. That's my common problem. Did we get anything? Not a thing. Oh yeah, baby. That was, that was we, good. That yeah. was a good one right there. That was a good one. I ain't going to be surprised if we don't pull up a 60 pound cat. Heard that. Or nothing. Yeah, nothing's always better than nothing. Though. You don't catch fish if you don't throw the net out there. We'll throw the dang thing again. That's a quite, oh wow, Kendall Gray. Quality right there, quality. That's in a good spot too. Well, it smells like something's crop and died over here. Yeah, something, something stinks. Like booty. What we got, what we got? It feels heavy. Uh, what the, Kiarn is? Bro, <laughs> I caught a brick. I don't, uh. I ain't never caught a brick before. Yeah, me neither, but. We caught it. I have now. What do you think that is, six pounder? Probably. PB brick right there. One brick, one fish. Now, guys, right here, it's right there where the thing comes out. There's usually a bunch of bluegill there, so why not today? That wasn't a bad cast. We've seen worse today. What we got? 17. Hey! We did catch this thing. Hey, that was a hazard to the farm. Hazard to the <laughs> farm. So we throw it back in. Yes. I have a better chance of catching a cold in Africa. Catching a fish with a net. We've got more stuff from this side. A brick and uh, some chicken wire. Here we go. Another day. Another bad throw by Kendall Gray. Now we've racked up two YouTube videos. So now, oh my gosh, I caught a bass. I had low there. I caught a bass, guys. I told you guys I'm a pro. I watched two videos now, and that makes me an expert. Here you go, boys. Oh, Living. wow, look at that. So far, we've caught a brick, some chicken wire, a bass, and a bluegill. That's good enough for me, ain't it? You're going to be big one day. Kiss it. Wow. He's going to be big one day. He will be big one day. Hey, every 10-pounder started off that size one time. I caught a bass. I'm about to catch water. I caught a bass. I've only caught three bass my whole entire life, so. Yeah. Next is a catfish, though, and that's your job. So right now, I'm about to open up a little bit of fan mail, but just for a second, do y'all see anything, you know, like, awesome about me? Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's right. I'm decked out in SSOG gear. And in the frame right now, there's three objects of SSOG. Number one, the staple, the shirt, the navy, the gray, the shirt. Number two, the hat right here, the snapback. And number three, which a lot of people don't know about, is actually the decal right here. And, you know, a lot of people's been asking, is this decal and is this truck mine? Well, guys... Sorta. Of. It's sorta of mine, but I guess you could say, yeah, I guess it is sorta of mine. It is the one I drive every day. Let's just put it at that. If you want to see a review on it, like, hey guys, we'll do a review on it. Just tell me in the comments. But before we open the mail, I just wanted to let you know that the best way to support me would to go buy some gear at kindlegray1.com slash shop, since, you know, YouTube's not necessarily being the, well, uh... Eh. But without further ado, let's get into the fan mail. This first one right here coming from Kyler Calhoun. This is really hard to open packages with one hand, but hey, we'll get it done, boys. We'll get it done. He sent like this little biscuit thing right here, and then I read his letter, and it said that this is actually some kind of Civil War food that they would make back in the Civil War days. And they said that with the stuff they made it with, that right there can literally last up to 100 years without going bad. I mean, I love KFC and everything, but to be honest, guys... I don't reckon their biscuits will last 100 years. Now, when you see this package, you may be saying, oh, it's just another MTB box. No, you're wrong. It's actually from Mark Reed right here. And we're about to crack it open. But then I noticed that we got some pink tape over here, which is really awesome because it's actually Breast Cancer Awareness Month. But without further ado, let's crack this thing open. So first thing I see right here is some of these power worms right here. The color is actually, you know, it's a really good color. It's black and chartreuse, guys. If you have a pond, this is one of the dynamite colors you can be using. The next thing I look in here and see are actually these mustad treble hooks and i'm like bro these are awesome i love treble hooks and let me tell you guys treble hooks aren't cheap especially these mustads along with this fan art here which is actually a drawing of this picture right here that's on my instagram here's another shameless plug at kindle gray one but i mean for real guys look at those that is a pretty dang good job if you ask me i just want to let y'all into a little secret right here if you are planning on getting this breast cancer awareness signature series Go ahead and get it, guys. Your time's running out. These are a limited edition, guys. Honestly, they probably won't be made again till next year. And when you buy one, you also get a free bracelet and a percentage of the proceeds go straight to the ABC Foundation. So it's sort of like a win-win. Win. You get a shirt, you're supporting the channel, and you're supporting cancer research. So that's more than a win-win. That's a win-win-win. See ya. Roll the outro. If you're not part of the Grey Gang, go ahead and subscribe by hitting the button on the top right and feel free to watch some of my past videos on the left. As always, favorite squad, post it up, down low.
If you want some of the sweet merch, head on over to kennelgrade1.com or the link in the description. But besides that, I'll catch you later in tomorrow's video.